Praise, praise, praise. See the Lord. We thank God here to the Lord has helped us in this assembly. And we thank God for this very month, the month of November, which is the 11th month this year, year 2014. God has been doing a lot in our life. Great and mighty things, marvelous things. And today happened to be the uh, fourth Sunday this month. And we still have one more Sunday to celebrate this month. Which means we have five Sundays this month. And today, God has something special for us. Um, as I was praying the night, God shared so many things with me. And when I was praying, among other things, God told me, saying, today, you want us to pray very well. For certain reasons, he only shared with me part of the reasons. And he told me specifically uh, the type of prayer that we need to pray. And what we need to pray for. God said, we need to pray for this nation. Likewise, we need to pray for each family. And for every individual. God said, there is a reason for it. And he expects us to obey him on this particular subject. God emphasized that this issue is very, very important. And uh, he said, we need to pray for something very, very important to every one of us. And what is it? He said, we need to cry unto him for mercy over this nation. Likewise, our family and for each individual that we need to cry out to him for mercy that he should have mercy on us and that he make me to understand that this subject of mercy is included in that passage of scripture which he has given us specifically as a special assignment for this month, which we have started right from day one of this month. For the benefit of the visitors and newcomers, God gave us a special assignment for this month, specifically. 
He said, throughout the days of this month of November, from day one to the end, he said, we should read a specific, a specific part of the scripture, which is Psalm 119, as an individual, as a family, and likewise, every member of this assembly, including the visitors, who cares, who are ready to hearken to his voice, that we should pray for cleansing, that God, in his mercy and by the power in his word, should cleanse us as an individual and likewise as a family. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this morning, He wants us to pray that God should have mercy on us. That He should have mercy on His family, on our family. And likewise, bordered on this nation, this country, Nigeria. And um, going through the uh, <clears throat> that passage of scriptures, and 119, as the assignment God has given us to us, you will discover that this subject of mercy is there. Because our time is far spent, we just uh, look at it briefly, then we go into prayer session so that you will understand uh, what, uh, what God, I mean, the reason why God wants us to do it as uh, embedded in that passage of Scripture. Let's go into that passage of scripture, Psalm 119. Let's read for verse, uh, verse 41, that passage now. Verse 41. And I read. Let your mercies come also to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your word. Then let's go to verse 58 as well. Verse 58. I entreated, I entreated your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful to me according to your word. I'm reading from New King James Version of the Bible. Then verse, uh, let's go to verse 64 again. Verse 64. The earth, O oh Lord, is full of your mercy. Teach me your status. Let me come up again. The earth, O oh Lord, is full of your mercy. Teach me your status. Let's go to verse 76 again. Verse 
verse 76. Let, I pray, your merciful kindness be for my comfort according to your word to your servant. Um, we have covered uh, four verses. Now let's go to 77 again. <laughs> Verse 77. Let your tender mercies come to me that I may live. For your law is my delight. <laughs> we covered just about uh, five verses there to confirm that message on uh, mercy. The message is based on mercy. Say, Lord, have mercy on me. According to your word. Lord, have mercy on me. According to your word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As we have been on uh, Intimating now, right from the beginning of this month, concerning this uh, passage of scripture, Psalm 119, we told all that that passage uh, is highly loaded, highly loaded, and that it encompasses uh, almost all the subjects in the scripture. Talk of salvation, talk of. Uh, um, Sanctification, talk of uh, being filled with the Holy Spirit, talk of uh, deliverance, talk of uh, miracles, talk of um, revival. And likewise, today, he said we should also speak on his mercy, which also is found that passage, isn't it? It encompasses all the subjects in the Bible. It's all encompassing. Talk of, talk of any subject in the Bible. You find it there. Talk of um, brokenness. Talk of uh, trial, affliction, anything, any subject at all, you find it there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Today, you want us to speak on the subject of mercy. That is, Lord, have mercy on me according to your word. We have much to deliberate on this particular subject. Even the little knowledge I have in this, in this, in this scripture, I can speak on this subject for hours from my own little knowledge. In the scripture, 
and as a believer. Likewise, by his grace, as a minister of the gospel. Pray the Lord. Number one. Um, when God says, have, when, they buy, when, when, does, when that uh, uh, team says, have mercy on me according to your word. This subject of mercy, I would say, is a very common word. It's a common subject. And I believe that uh, mercy generally has no uh, hidden interpretation. It's a very common word. Even among the un unbelievers, they know what mercy is. And uh, likewise, the religious people, they know what mercy is. And they used to uh, refer to their God as Go, as, as a merciful God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But I get we pay a lot of two on sin. We have to see the Taiwan sin. See best, see best. One bag we pay. Taiwan bag we pay. Allah anuni. Okufu anu. But in this case, we are uh, deliberating on a very important subject which bordered on mercy. And if you understand it according to His word. You will know that it's a mystery. Mercy is a mystery. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Amen. 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 God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Because of this, when they are in problem, you, you know that they know how to call upon God for mercy because they, they, they believe that it's a merciful God. Wherever they find, when they find themselves in a, in a situation where they discover that they cannot help themselves and nobody is able to help them out. Neither the mother, the father, the parents, friends, uh, those that are in authority, and so on and so forth. They will say, eh? God, you are somewhere in heaven. Have mercy. I cannot deliver myself. I know you are able to deliver me. Have mercy on me. Amen. 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 But there is one thing we want, I want every one of us to understand this morning. Um, <clears throat> number one. As we all know, according to the scripture, Our God is a God of mercy. Because the Bible says He is gracious. He is merciful. His mercy is from everlasting to everlasting. And the Bible says His mercy endures forever. <laughs> it's a mystery. Okay, and um, only God can give all the understanding of that subject. That is number one. Number two. 
Um, <coughs> for God to have mercy on us, we need to understand something. He cannot have, we, I mean, there is a condition to fulfill before this mercy is granted. We know that God is sovereign. He is omnipotent. He is omniscience and is uh, 